Hey, does uh, this smell like chlorophyll? <laughs> it's time to start the music. It's time to light the light. It's time to get things started. I'm two chefs and one knife. Dum, dum, dum. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Hey, all you soft poached and hard poached egg lovers out there. Welcome to the best cooking show in the world. Two chefs. One knife. And another egg episode. <laughs> we are going to be making a classic eggs benedict. With a couple of uh, little twists on eggs, then too. A couple of little yes. vegetarian ones. Mm -hmm. I'm Chef MBH. I'm Chef Grace slash Chef Yam. How are you today? I'm, I'm a little bit... I'm okay. <laughs> You're just supposed to say I'm good and move on. How are you? Uh, I found out that I have a strained muscle in my jaw. That's what she said. That's <laughs> gross, Chris. We're going to start with the holidays, actually. The holiday starts off with a reduction. <laughs> Hello, because we forgot to describe what a reduction was. It's a shallot minced, two bay leaves, some peppercorns crushed under a pot, equal parts white wine and white wine vinegar, placed on the stove and reduced by half. Okay, the uh, vinegar wine solution, whatever you want to call it, has reduced. All right, we're going to strain out all these bits because we don't need that in our hollandaise. So that means you can move on to the next step. We're going to poach eggs. We can do a whole bunch of eggs at the same time. So when you poach eggs, I like to take the water up to a boil and then bring it way down this. Leave don't be shy on the vinegar. If you don't have enough, uh, your egg whites are going to float everywhere. Okay, so I guess the hardest part of this dish, besides the hollandaise, is poaching eggs. Okay, so I'm cracking my eggs. Make sure you don't break the yolks. No. Um, if you want, if you're not confident, you can crack it into another bowl and then place it into a, a vessel of this size. So I'll show you why I want one with a spout. I actually came up with this trick. I'm not sure if any other chefs came up with this, but every time I do it, everyone's like, wow, that works. Chef Yam original. Yeah, so um, if anyone else has done this before, I'm taking the credit. <laughs> Is there any specific type of egg? With. Yes, white, non-organic. I find the more expensive the egg, the crappier they are yeah. for poaching. I don't know uh, what it is. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but like... like give, the, give the chicken some yeah. corn or something. <laughs> I don't know. The inhumane, cage-raised <laughs> eggs, they are the best for poaching. Walmart and, eggs. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. But if you like to suffer and you don't like your eggs to suffer, feel free to use... Uh, organic pasture-raised eggs. The water's a nice simmer. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this cyclone thing because you don't want the eggs to touch the bottom of the pot and uh, stick to the bottom. So as this is twirling, you lay your container down and it will separate on its own. They will not stick together. And you can do the Gordon Ramsay trick. He likes to twist the pot so it does not stick to the bottom. Oh, you mean he just doesn't yell at it? Yeah. He just doesn't scare them into separation? <laughs> Perfect soft poached eggs, three minutes at a simmer. So what we have here is an ice bath. Okay, so you do want to kind of undercook them a little bit because you're going to reheat them up later on. So what I like to do is to I take that little tail off and lay that into the ice water. Mm. Look at these mad camera skills. I got both things in the shot. These are perfect. Look how easy that was. Hold on, let me do something. All right. I feel like you're looking for a pat on the back <laughs> there on those uh, that egg poaching comment. <laughs> Look at these mad camera skills. And... Ta-da! We're gonna talk about the butter. Clarify butter is butter that has been low cooked so that the milk's all separate from the fat. Because all you want is the oil, the fat. Yes. It's time for the hollandaise. Mm -hmm. I'd say we have maybe like five yolks here, which is a lot, but everyone loves hollandaise. So we got our lovely reduction. Reduction. Here. Reduction. Put some reduction in there. Okay, so this is an oven brown trick that I learned a long time ago. So if you add a little bit of sugar, it helps stabilize the hollandaise. And you can't really taste it. It's like you're literally putting a tiny little pinch. 
All right, uh, this is our poaching liquid from the eggs. We're gonna multi-purpose this water since it's already hot, it's already here. Why not? That's how you make money. All right, so you're gonna put your, your bowl on the pot with your reduction, your yolks, and you're just gonna start whisking it. You gotta, this is gonna take a while, so I'm assuming we're gonna fast forward this. But, uh, yeah, you just wanna keep whisking it until it reaches what is called the ribbon stage. And I will explain that when it gets there, but you always wanna make sure you keep getting the sides because the heat is gonna come up and it'll actually cook these yolks on the side of the bowl. And you don't want that. So you want your hollandaise to be nice and smooth. So always make sure you're scraping down the sides at the same time. Cause as you're going, you're gonna see it's gonna, the first the eggs are going to get a more runny cause it's heating up, they're not cold anymore. So as you whisk, it's gonna throw it up the side here. So just make sure you keep mixing away. If it ever separates, you can tell it separates because you can see the fat in the egg not just mixing anymore. Good way to fix that. You take like the 35, 36% whipped cream. Like you don't need a lot, maybe less than a quarter cup. Heat it up in a pan and then your split hollandaise, uh, you whisk that into the hot cream because the cream is just fat. A fat will absorb another fat. And so that's why that works to fix your hollandaise if you ever split it. So if you ever split it, don't throw it away. So we're done. You want to take it off the heat now because now you don't want to cook these yolks anymore. If you do, you got scrambled egg yolks. All right, so. This is the clarified butter we made. You want your butter to be a little bit warmer than room temp. You don't want cold. It can't be too hot or it's gonna keep cooking the eggs and it's gonna scramble. But you also can't, don't want it cold or your hollandaise will solidify and not be very good. So, cause, and you already got warm yolks here anyway, so. And so, we're gonna need to do a nice steady stream. Trying to keep the, uh, the yolks in one kind of spot. Just like so. All right, as you can see, it's getting uh, really, Thick. It's been a long time, but uh, so what you want to do is you want to thin it out here. If you keep adding your your fat, your butter to the thick, you have better, higher chance of it separating because of that. So you get some nice hot water. So the hot water just helps keep the temperature of this hollandaise too, so it doesn't um, get cold on you. There you go. Add a little bit of water. See that? How it just thinned it out again, give it a nice better consistency. And then from here we go back to the butter. Keep going. All right, here I am mixing the butter into the yolk because I'm so cool like that. Look how awesome I am. Oh, well, thanks, Grace, for holding the bowl for me. We got our butter in with there. Look how smooth, creamy that looks. That looks delightful. But now we need to season it. I like to use lemon. You could just lime. Uh, we're going to strain it through our fingers because I'm just too lazy to walk around to get the strainer. Catch those seeds. You want it a little thicker right now also too because we are going to be adding this lemon juice to it, which will thin it out a bit. Got all that lemon juice in there, all that deliciousness.
You don't want water eggs. We don't want to water it down. No. It's sog up the muffin. So how long? Like a minute? Two minutes? Yeah. Three heat? And obviously if you want medium, leave it in longer. Hard, leave it in a way longer. Oh, look at the Oh, beautiful eggs. Look at that. Soft to the touch. <gasps> Last but not least, the classic. The classic. Nice. Mm -hmm. Did we do that? <laughs> yeah, we did. Oh, man. Did like? Did we just start a brunch company? <laughs> yep. Yep. It's that right. time of the show where everyone gets jealous because we get to mm -hmm. eat it. <laughs> All right, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, what, I'm, what are you doing? You're doing traditional? Yeah, I'm going to do I'm doing hand. like the, the Santa Fe yes. kind of uh, avocado. I'm trying to find the good spot. Me too. I want the... This, this is heavy. Yeah, it is. Oh, good Lord. 10,000 calories. It's like 10,000 calories when I wanted was a hundred. <laughs> can I get my hollandaise on the side, please? <laughs> so I can drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I'm, I don't even know if All I got right. my mouth around this. That's thing. what she said. Oh, oh it's in the nose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it went up my nose. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. That's a good poached egg. Yeah, that's perfect. Good hollandaise. Mm -hmm. You're getting the lemon. Wow, wow that was like, like my... Like, this guy <laughs> says he does not like bennies or poached eggs, and he's eating more than me, and that never happens. So, what does that tell you? That's good. Yeah, it is. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice work. Finger licking. <laughs> we'll be together forever and ever upon. Together forever we'll do holidays. <laughs> it will taste alright. <laughs>